Vespa Halo 6 Cologne. Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and today I want to give you an honest review of a Microtech Halo 6 uh, Vespa version cologne, okay? Now, let me put this disclaimer out there. I bought this knife with my own money, so I want to give you an honest review. This is not a lender from the manufacturer or from a knife dealer. I spend my own money, so you know I'm going to give it to you without any fluff. I have no horse in the race, as they say in America. Okay, so the normal Microtech cost 750 bucks. The reason I know is I've just bought one of these, the real article, um, but it's at the shop in the warranty department, but I'll get into that in a second. At the same time, I've, I've owned over $3,000 of original Microtechs. For example, this is a Cypher. They only made 100 of these. Uh, I own this, this, this one is uh, 86, I'm sorry, 863 out of 100. Uh, so I, I, I spent a lot of money on Microtex, over $3,000. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Microtex. I've, I've owned two Ultratech, one TX85. I've owned the, this Delta Direct, I've, the Cypher, a Halo 6. Uh, here's another Microtex that I own. Uh, so I've owned a lot of Microtex. So, you know, you, you could depend on me that I know what I'm talking about. I've owned the original article. Now, I told you guys that I own a Halo 6, brand new, I spent 750 bucks, I bought it from Microtech, and it's been in the shop three times already. So in less than three months, it's been in the shop three times. So I bought a Halo 6 from Microtech, in less than 15 days, it broke. Um, this little screw here, right here, this opening was just opening it up. I sent it in for warranty, they send it back in, it wasn't fixed. I send it in for the second time, they send it back in, it wasn't fixed. And now we're at the third time I've sent my knife back into Microtech. So that's 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 what you're gonna get with the real Microtech. And this is a knife that I bought with my own money from Microtech and it's still at the shop where I would do a comparison. Now there should be a video coming up where you can see the actual Microtech Halo 6 knife. But today's video, today's star is this Vespa. Now Vespa has two colognes of Microtech uh, Halo 6. They have the lower end, which there should be a video coming up, and I, I, which I own a lower end Vespa 6, which is an orange color. And that one cost me about $113. And everything's the same as the original Microtech Halo 6 besides the steel, the steel on that one, the orange one, the lower end one is a D2 where the steel on this one is a M390. This so the high end Vespa has the same exact steel as the Microtech Halo 6, okay? Where the lower end Vespa, okay, the lower end Vespa has D2 steel. This this Vespa, which is the high-end Vespa, has the same steel as the Microtech, and it also has the same uh, trigger load mechanism made out of titanium. So again, Vespa has two clones, a lower-end clone, which is 100 and about 13 bucks, and it has D2 and aluminum, and their high-end Cologne, which is the one that you're seeing in front of me right now, that has the titanium trigger, okay, and the titanium, uh, I mean, the, I'm sorry, M390 steel. So it has the better steel and it's basically a rep, exact replica of a Microtech. Now, this one cost about 200, 250 bucks, I can't remember exactly, but it costs a little bit more than the level one cologne. The level one being the lower version of the Vespa. Now, Honest to honest to God, I can't, I mean, besides the steel, I really can't tell the difference between the Vespa Level 1 and the Vespa Level 2. The Vespa Level 2 being the higher quality steel, okay? They, they're pretty much identical. I mean, the functionalities, the way it fires, um, the way it is, is identical. I mean, like, when this thing fires, there's no movement, like, z zero. Now, listen to this one. This is the real Microtech. Okay, listen to this one. This is the fake clone. 
There's no play. you zero zitch. And it blows me away. Okay. Because this cost seven times less than the original article. Okay. Let me show you another microtech. Okay. Uh, you can hear the play. There's a lot of play in microtech. But look at this Vespa, guys. Like literally nothing. Nothing. I'm, I'm yanking on it, guys. Okay. Um, so I'm very, very, very impressed with the Vespa. Now, there's a lot of companies in China that are selling counterfeit Vespa. So I'm going to leave a link below so you can get from the company that I got it, the manufacturer. I got it because they're, they're the ones that actually make the Vespa and they make the best quality. Okay. Now, the other th thing I want to talk about is how great, clean, I mean, beautiful this M390 is. I don't know if you guys can tell, guys. It's, it's truly great. And this thing is super sharp, guys. I don't know if you guys can tell. It basically takes the hair off my hand. I don't know if you guys can see as I'm doing right live in front of you. It was super sharp. I mean, like, literally, I don't know if you guys can see. Look, look at that. See that? Look at the hair on here, guys, okay? So this thing is, like, came out of the box super sharp. I'm super impressed with Vespa sharpening. Now, Microtech sharpening is very awesome, too. Like, every time I bought a knife from Microtech, they're all been uh, laser sharp. You can, like, cut your hair off your skin, which is very impressive. Benchmade, not so great, okay? Other companies that I've owned, not so great. So Vespa and Microtech, when it comes to sharpening, they're both freaking sharp. I mean, super, super sharp, okay? Now, if you guys don't know what a Halo 6 looks like, you basically, it's a single action. You fire, and whenever you want to load, you push on the button, and you just pull on this reload button, okay? All right? Now, I would do, I would do a live demonstration of my... Microtech Halo 6 versus a Vespa. I've actually already done one, but it was the lower tier Vespa versus the Halo 6. So you, sh you should go and check my YouTube playlist to look for it. Um, but I don't have the original article, the Microtech, because I had to send it back in for warranty repairs the third time since you know since I owned it um, because it broke on me after 15 days of owning it. Okay, um, so. This is a very, very nice knife. I have no complaints about it. Now, one of the things that is a little different is that if you look at the Microtech, this this part is a little chiseled in and it has a little, you know, definition. Here, you get a straight piece of steel. I don't know if you guys can see, okay? I don't know if that's a, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, it definitely makes it more sturdy. So on the top, you're really not getting any kind of carving till you get to right here. Then here you can see that it is a little carved in, okay? All right. And I don't know if you guys can see, um, the problem that I had with my Halo, the original article, Microtech, is after I, I fired about 10 times, this the, the, there's a gap right here that would open up. You can see hardly the gap. The only reason you can even see this line here is because of the color of this is so bright that you can see the line but with my original article there'll be a big gap and i could push down on it like this and it would just move like a mouth right so i sent it in twice they weren't able to fix it the third time they sent it back in this side was fixed but now this side was making the same exact problem so i'm waiting for the original article um but overall guys for 200 dollars this is amazing knife literally amazing because you're getting the same craftsmanship if not better and i'm literally mean better because i've ordered two of these a low end that cost me 100 bucks and the a high end which cost me 200 none of them had the same exact problem with my original article microtech none of them had to go back to the manufacturer right so overall i'm super super happy this is i would say 95 percent of the same as the original article there is a five percent different okay um from the weight because if you go to my other video that came up i did the uh, vespa halo 6 versus a vespa uh, i mean microtech halo 6 there are three gram difference in weight and but overall guys this is amazing 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 you know Clone. This is not a cheap clone. There are a lot of companies make cheap products. This is not a cheap clone. This is truly you're 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 getting ninety five percent of the original article for one seventh of the price. Now, uh, am I saying that you shouldn't buy the original article? No, I own both. I own the original and I, and I own the, 
the uh, clone. But if I could go redo it on the Halo 6, I would not buy the original article because I spent 750 bucks. I still don't have a knife and I spent days and months waiting for it and I had to send it back three times and right off the box it was broken like literally right out of the box the knife was broken and I spent 750 bucks I would have been way better just buying the low-end Vespa for a hundred bucks 113 bucks or the high-end Vespa for just 200 bucks which I ended up buying both the, the, the Microtech and the Vespa and I bought the high-end Vespa and I got the low-end Vespa I just got the high-end Vespa in maybe about three weeks ago and I've been carrying it you know half that time to test it out and I'm very 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 happy with it guys okay very happy with it there's hardly any play if any at all and then like zit zitch okay it fires very very strong it does not fire as much authority as the original article but it fires pretty authoritative like you know the only reason you would know the difference is if you had the original article since i already own a microtech halo i could hold it in both of my hands and fire it and notice the difference there's a slight i would say 10 percent more authority on the microtech versus this vespa but if you haven't hold the microtech you're not going to be able to tell the difference at all when i hold this in my hand it feels like a solid knife it doesn't feel like a gimmicky cheap knife when you hold it you're like wow if it has some weight to it when it fires you're like it, it like knocks your hand out. It has a lot of fourth guys. Okay, uh, this thing is super sharp. This thing is beautiful. They have many different colors. I've owned the orange one. I've owned this blue one, um, and I've been very, very, very happy with it. I've, I've actually owned multiple Vespas. This, this is another Vespa. This is a clone of their Cipher. Okay, um, and here's the original article, the Cipher, and here's the Vespa. Okay, you can see. I mean, they're, they're very identical, guys. They're literally identical. Um, there's little... This one has more play into it. Okay, you can hear it. Okay, a little bit less noise here. Uh, excuse me. You can hear the noise. I think this one has a little bit less noise. A little... Okay. You can hear that see no noise okay so overall i don't think vespa is a bad company i think they make great quality stuff it may not be a hundred percent as equal to a microtech but again i'm only paying one tenth of the price one seventh of the price so uh like for example this cipher you know i really can't tell the difference in some things, I think this one's made better than the Microtech, okay? Um, now, on the Halo 6, I for sure would say, screw Microtech, buy the Vespa, right? I'm not telling you what to do, but for me, I wouldn't buy the Microtech Halo again because, man, I spent 750 don't even have the knife. I spent 100 bucks on one of these, and I was super happy that I went and bought the $200 one. So, um, who is this for? Okay, who is this for? This is for, for someone that's a working man, you know, someone that owns a moving company, a real estate company, a landlord, um, for the average guy. Um, if, you're, if you're a knife geek, if you're a knife pro, then you, you'll probably still be happy with this because I bought it and I'm very happy with it and I got a lot of knives. But if you're like super duper, you want the best of the best, you want the name quality, then, you know, this knife is not probably for you. You'll probably want the Microtech. But if you're the average guy... Man, go with, I would highly recommend this one. If you are a medium guy that like, likes knives but wants a decent knife, good value, good money, go with the Cypher Vespa. I'm sorry, for Halo Vespa. Why do I say this is a better buy? Well, I don't have a horse in the race. I, you know, I, I, it doesn't matter to me. But the price that I pay for this is basically 95% same quality as the microtech but it cost me a lot less okay literally guys no joke okay and so that's why i bought two of these because dang I, one is basically my pretty one and the other one i use now the, the orange one i take with me and i use every day every day i cut watermelons grapefruit um cantaloupes coconut i bust into the coconut i i carry it with me every day when we go bike riding i mean i use it every day and man it i haven't had any problems with it i've been very 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 happy with it uh, when i first got the orange one i did have some problems with it i reached out to vespa 
and then they sent me a refund for it okay they were going to send me a new one but it was their chinese holiday so they just sent me a refund for it so i was very very happy so i bought a, I bought a couple of more nights from them but overall um what i'm doing now is before i buy a microtech i'm buying the vespa cologne Let's see if i even like it because for example i bought a trudon uh cologne and i really realized that man the trudon is too big too fat for me it's too thick it's too fat the blade is great size but the body's too thick and i didn't want to buy spend you know i read to spend a hundred bucks bought a vespa test tried it and then said look i don't want to buy the real thing on the other hand i bought this cipher from vespa i tried it and i and i loved it and i said mm, this is really nice let me buy the original article so i ended up buying the original article because i bought the vespa okay because i thought that it's going to fire harder but it doesn't <laughs> it fires exactly the same okay um but the point of the story is from now on for me i'm going to buy the clone version carry it with me for a month see if i even like the knife if, if it's something that i'm going to use and if it is then i'll buy the original article but before i used to just buy the original article and spend a whole lot of money and have problems with it or realize i don't even like it and i would be out of a whole lot of money and that's why i appreciate vespa because they're now giving me an option where i can get the original article for 90 percent less and it's 95 percent the same quality of the original article and if i really like the knife then i'll go ahead and buy the original article so that said i'm a big fan of vespa i'm a big fan of microtech but microtech has led me down multiple times so that's why i turned into vespa before microtech led me down i've never bought clones anything in my life okay i didn't like clones but since i spent so much money with microtech and they're nice for constantly letting me down. I one day said, let me let me buy a counterfeit because they're like tenth of the price. And guess what? I bought my very first uh, clone and it was a home runner. And after that, I, I really realized that, hey, there are clone companies out there that make good quality stuff. Now, by majority, a lot of the clones out there are crappy, guys. I've owned shitty clones. You know, I've watched some shitty clone knives and they were horrible, like horrible. They weren't even worth 25, 50 bucks that I paid for them. But Vespa, on the other hand, is making some high quality clones that's unbeatable. Like literally, they can go toe to toe, like Tyson. They can go toe to toe with the best companies out there, like Microtech, for one tenth of the price. And I think they're giving Microtech a run for their money. And if Microtech doesn't get their shit together, then you're going to have royal customers like me that support them will eventually move on to, for example, Toyota versus buying a Ford. Because everyone knows that if you buy a Chevy, they're not built like they were back in the days. But Toyota is. If you buy a Toyota, you're going to get 300,000 miles with no maintenance problem. You buy a Chevy, you're going to be in the shop every other week. So the same thing is happening with, with the knife industry. You know, These Chinese companies are making better products for less money than, than Microtex. And with Microtex, they're worried about you know profit margins. They're worried about their marketing gimmicks. They're worried about all this other stuff. And they learn how to manipulate the market to get top dollars for their knives. But unfortunately, they haven't figured out how to get the craftsmanship to match that Favari price. Because they're selling a Favari, but some products has the performance. Other products don't have the performance. They have a performance of a Ford Civic or a Honda Civic, but they're charging Favari dollars, just like the Halo 6 guys, okay? So the reason I can give it to you straight, I bought these knives with my own money. These knives are not given to me by manufacturer. I, I don't have a horse in the race. I can tell it to you straight. There is a lot of fluff online for Microtech, and because Microtech has learned to use YouTube influencers to buy their branding rights, I guess, you know, because if enough people you know, say yes, Microtech is great, then the population is going to believe these YouTubers and they're going to go buy it, not realizing that these are basically infomercials. Do I think Microtech is a great knife company? Yes, they make some good products, but they also make some bad products and their warranty is horrible, right? Now, some people are going to say, no, it's not because they only send in their knife to get it sharpened, but if you have a major problem with your knife, they're not going to have the item in stock for you. For example, if you, if you buy a Halo 7, you spend 700, I'm sorry, if you buy a Halo 6 and you spend 750 bucks, they're not gonna, if, if something goes wrong with the handle, they're not gonna have extra parts for you, so you're gonna be stuck like Chuck, just like me.
Now, uh, is there any problems with you know ordering stuff from China? Absolutely, right? You're not paying the American worker. Um, you know, if you have a problem with your knife, you may not be able to get it fixed because they're in China. But you know, my my thing was when I talked to Vespa, I had a problem with it. They refund my money, right? They were going to send me a new one or refund my money. I just said refund it. I'm just going to get the newer better version which is this one okay so uh, you know it's a cash 22 I can break this or lose it five times six times and I can go buy, buy a new one and I still would be saving money versus if I bought the original article so there's a lot of pros and cons to it you got to make your own decision I just want to bring you an honest no fluff review of the knives that I've owned I bought these knives with my own money so I could give it to you straight up so you don't make the same mistakes that I have I bought a lot of Microtech I regretted it I bought some Microtechs I love it I bought a few Vespa I haven't regret any of it yet, guys. They're, they're very good for the price that I'm paying for. They're the best, the, the bang for the money, dude. You know, the best bang for the money. If you are a hardcore knife guru and you want the best of the best, then go with the Microtech. I own Microtechs and I own Vespas. I own both. But if I was just starting out, if this is my first knife or I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but I wanted to get the same exact thing, I would go with a Vespa. If I wanted, to, if I had a lot of money or if I wanted the very best thing, I wanted to stick with the brand, I was a Microtech Guru fan, then I would go with the Microtech. And if you're in between, then flip a coin, guys. Thanks for watching. Click the like button. Share this message. Don't take no for an answer. And remember, you're, you are beautiful. You're important. You're powerful. You're creative. You can do anything you set your mind to. Don't take no for an answer. Peace.